Hey Saberland, Calvary Custom Sabers is here, and I wanted to take a minute and show you a lightsaber I just recently completed off of my personal log or personal uh, stuff that I have. This hilt is a Obi-Wan Attack of the Clones arena hilt, and it's made by One Replicas Customs. And for those of you who don't know, uh, this hilt came from the scene where Obi-Wan and Ken are fighting in the arena of Geonosis in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And this was the saber Obi-Wan was tossed to use to fight off the droids and all that kind of stuff. So, pretty cool little hilt for a backstory. It uh, is very nicely detailed by one rec because we have a lot of little milling slots right here. Um, just add a really just nice touch to an overall solid saber. Construction-wise, this is one piece, so it is exceptionally uh, solid and very, very good for dueling. The colors on the knobs here, the gold and the black, they're all anzidized, and so it's not going to uh, fade or rub off anytime soon because the anzidizing is uh, very well done. Modification-wise to this hilt, uh, the only thing I did was I cut out a spot right here for a seven segment LED bar graph and while I was doing so um, I did scratch it right here so there's a little blemish scratch right there um, not super noticeable but for those with a discerning eye you will uh, see that definitely um, whenever you're showing the saber. Also I changed the switch function so this is the auxiliary switch and this is the main switch instead of the switch being the pommel. This is a twist activation, and I'll show you what that is in just a minute. But let's pull a custom kill key, and you'll see that the Crystal Focus version 5.1 is powering the Saber. The font that I'm using to demo is uh, Nova Star. It's uh, one of the basically best fonts out there uh, for lightsabers, and is one of them that started it all. So I thought it was appropriate to use um, with the crystal focus. This switch is twist activation, so we'll turn it on. Immediate flash, immediate turn on. We'll get some auxiliary. And I don't know if I can do a force sound. And there's your force sound for you. And then very simple to turn it off. You just twist it like that. Something else, uh, we have a flush recharge port in the pommel. And then I do want to show you the custom bar graph as well. So let's turn it on. Random pattern. Very, very nice. And then to access the menu to change sound fonts is very simple. You just hold the auxiliary. And then we'll episode, two. episode two, we'll choose that one. And now you're all set to go with episode two. The LED in here is a uh, Rebel. Uh, Tri Rebel actually, and it has the two blue LEDs wired in series, and then you've got the white uh, set up for flash on clash. So it's one of the brightest sabers I've ever made, right up there with the Zazel. The crystal focus allows you to drive these LEDs just so bright, it's absolutely amazing. Very, very loud, and honestly, it would be a great saber for your costume um, or for dueling just because it is so loud and it's so solidly built. So there you go, it's an Obi-Wan and Tatha Clones Arena Saber. I'm very, very nice, very, very pleased with it and happy the way it turned out. And it will be going up for sale very soon on the FX Sabers forums. So thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.